All right, today on Northern Ropes, got another participant in the battle today. Tell me about your name. Um, I'm Andre McCullum. This is Nino McCullum. Uh, he's the third, and um, and uh, we're from East End Boxing Club. How long has your son been involved with the sport? Uh, I started him boxing when he was born, came out boxing, and uh, we started taking it serious when he turned seven. So uh, now he's 11, so uh, he's been going for four years, practicing, training, sparring, uh, strength and conditioning. At eight, they can start to compete. So from eight to 11 years old, he's accumulated 70 fights. 70? Yep, 70 fights. I don't I don't think there's another 11-year-old in the country that got more fights than him. And I think in the uh, early beginning, he was uh, nationally ranked. Yeah, he's been, ranked, he's been ranked, number, he was ranked number one at eight years old. He's ranked number one at nine years old. He's ranked number one at 10 years old. And then we took six months off because I moved from Missouri to Richmond. So the first tournament that um, that we just got back into was the Eastern Qualifiers just last month, and he finished runner-up. So uh, we're going to be going back to December, uh, to Louisiana in December, to try to get that, that number one ranking again. Now tell everybody your name, man. Huh? Tell everybody your name. <laughs> Nino the Nightmare. Nightmare? Yeah, Nino the Nightmare. Now what is it about the sport that you enjoy so much? Talk to him, whatever. What do you enjoy? <laughs> Would you say the physical battle in the ring? It's, un it's unlike any other sport because you, you don't play boxing. So what, what's the experience like for you training on a daily? What do you do when you go to the gym on a day-to-day -day basis? Stretch. I do the head movement. I hit the back. I do the timing back, and that's it. Now, what did you do to prepare for the fight tonight? All week in the gym. We've been sparring all week. So we about to get we about to get loose right now. We're about to get loose, get warmed up. I think he has the first bout. So we get loose, get warmed up. Oh, oh wow. We'll first, bout. first bout. Now, what's one of the things that you like to work on with him? Um, his footwork and his head movement. Um, I'm a big believer in your feet get you in, in trouble and your feet get you out of trouble. So as long as he got good footwork and he can fight going forward and going backwards, he really shouldn't take any punishment. He has never taken any punishment. So out of those 70 fights that he's had, he's never had a situation where his nose was bleeding or he got eight counts or anything like that because we're focused on defense. Has he um, participated in any other sport or just boxing? Strictly? Um, basketball, football. He does everything. He actually wants to play football now because he's quick. He got good footwork. So um, boxing is going to be number one, and uh, that's the sport that I take. I make serious. We take serious the other stuff. I let him do for fun. Like he played basketball last year, and they did really good. He averaged like 10, 10 points a game, and uh, I just had fun. I had fun watching him do it. I didn't have to be tough on him and stuff like that. Now, does that concern you with the sport of football? Just knowing what the different injuries that can occur. Um, well, you know, I don't, I don't know if we're going to take football too serious. Uh, I just know he wants to do it, so hopefully he doesn't get any injuries because the moment he gets an injury, we're pulling him out because we need him to be in the ring. So we'll do other sports. We'll have fun with it. I'll be there to support him no matter what he wants to do. But as far as boxing, that, that's going to be the sport that we take serious because, like you said, you can't play boxing. Now I got to ask you before we wrap it up, man. Who's your, one of your favorite fighters out there? Sugar Ray Leonard and Boyd Jones. You went old school on me, man. <laughs> what is it about those two fighters, man? They're just the best. They have the best footwork. Now, how did you how did you learn about those two from your from your dad? Watching old tape. YouTube. It's a YouTube. YouTube. Uh. You can watch everything on YouTube. So we watched Sugar Ray Leonard when he fought the Olympics. He was a gold medalist. We watched Roy Jones when he was in the Olympics. He should have been a gold medalist. Um, we don't watch too much of Floyd when he was an amateur. There's not a lot of footage out there, but as far as Pretty Boy when he was new, his, his body movement, his, his um, combinations, his defense, real good things to watch if, if you're in the game to, to, um, to, to hit and not get hit. Now I got to ask you before we wrap it up, man. How are your grades in school? Good. Good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> he, come, he come home every day. He's like, Dad, I think I'm the smartest in the class. Like, every day he tells me that. I'm like, yeah, we'll see when that grade card come out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I, I really appreciate your time, man. Are, are you on Instagram or anything? Tell everybody your Instagram, man. Nino McCullum. Nino McCullum. All right. Yeah, Nino, N-I-N-O, McCullum, M-C-C-A-L-L-U-M. Um, that's, that's the Instagram. Go follow us. All right, man, I appreciate your time. I yeah, appreciate you. All right.